It is said that the Statue of Liberty is a symbol for inspiration, hope and freedom. But how can such a claim be made when the statue is stuck to the ground with tons of concrete? So I propose that we help free Miss Liberty from the confines of New York and grant her the freedom to explore not just America, but all of what the world has to offer. Did you know her crown spikes symbolize the seven oceans and the seven continents of the world? So it would make sense if we flew the statue across these areas. Okay, but how is the statue going to be lifted up? The most practical solution would be to use the Antonov AN-255 Super Heavy Transport Aircraft, which was designed to carry space shuttles and operate even in the worst weather conditions. A single aircraft can carry 250,000 kilograms or 550,000 pounds. And with the Statue of Liberty weighing 450,000 pounds or just over 200,000 kilograms, just one, or to be safe, two, should be enough for Miss Liberty to experience freedom. But there's a problem. Only one AN-255 was ever built to completion, and it got destroyed in the Battle of Antonov Airport. And looking at other options, they all seem threatening, and countries might see this as a sign of hostility. But luckily, I've come up with a great idea. What if we combine a statue that symbolizes freedom with another? I'm of course referring to the American Bald Eagle. So by letting the eagles carry this statue, it is no longer interpreted as a threat, but rather a spectacle of genius engineering and vision. But while this might solve one issue, it brings up a horde of others. First, you might be thinking, how is a bird going to carry a metal statue? And I was thinking the same thing until I saw this. So now that you're convinced, let's see how much weight they can carry. It's said that bald eagles are capable of lifting 5 to 6 pounds. But what about that goat in the video? It looks to be well over 15 pounds at the very least. In that video, the eagle is descending, likely catching the goat from a higher platform. This reduces the weight of the goat due to air resistance, meaning the eagle will be carrying only a small fraction of the goat. If you wanted to test this theory, you could go skydiving and bring a car along with you. And when you fall, hold on to the roof of the car. It would appear that you were holding the car, but that doesn't mean you were carrying 4,000 pounds. It just means that you should have purchased car insurance. Okay, so let's divide 450,000 pounds by 5 pounds, which gives us 90,000 eagles. But this number of eagles brings up a lot of problems. First, since Miss Liberty is only 46 meters or 151 feet tall, so if we lined up 90,000 eagles lengthwise across the Statue of Liberty, it would result in collisions and chaos. So instead, we're going to use the design of a quadcopter. In each quadrant, there's going to be a safety harness for the eagle. This allows for proper spacing and an evenly distributed force. Another concern is the coordination of the eagle's flight path to align in the same direction. To solve this issue, we're going to attach a sardine hung by a stick in front of each quad eagle configuration. So we need 22,500 quad eagles made with sardines. In terms of aesthetics, carrying the statue sideways would provide more anchor points for the eagles to pull from. But a statue on its side that appears to have fallen would be seen as symbolizing the fall of freedom and would be a statue of weakness for the world. So the statue would need to be transported upright. In front of the flying statue would be a Lockheed C-130 Hercules to help guide the eagles. All sardines would be connected to a fishing line, which the operator would guide from the rear of the aircraft. For our second final concern, how are we going to feed the eagles? Each bold eagle requires 450 to 550 calories per day, so about 25 sardines for each eagle per day, giving us a total of 2,250,000 sardines. Initially, I was thinking we could have someone zipline across to the eagles and feed the eagles manually, but this would raise further safety concerns, so instead, we're going to 3D print a bigger version of a Pez dispenser. Then we're going to fill it in with sardines, connect the time release motor, turn it upside down, and attach it to the quadcopters. Right, so our final concern is funding. 
who's going to fund this venture? In 2018, $4.6 million were spent on lobster tail and crab, and $17,000 were spent on various sweet sauces. So I think they can help us with this project, giving us a total of $202,232,750. Now there could be concerns over how this is a waste of money, but this would be a short-sighted way of thinking. Instead, we need to think long term about the effects of flying the Statue of Liberty across the world. Millions will be entertained by such a spectacle, looking in awe and appreciating the amount of engineering that went into such a project. Also, it will destroy morale and any confidence in governments in countries that are trying to oppose the USA. They'll be thinking, if they can do this, what else are they capable of? Donations for this project in the form of subscribes will be greatly appreciated.